Avonot, Lashon Hara. Today, Pilates opens up the Sefet. We open up to Lashon Hara. Everybody knows Lashon Hara, Lashon Hara, Lashon Hara. You have to know another thing, that there's a... Mike, do me a favor, close that door, please. There's another thing he says. Hashakul, he writes, Lashon Hara, Shakul Kavod Azara, Gilu Yareyot, Shfichut Damim. People always make the same mistake. What's the same mistake? They say, I'm saying the truth. That is Lashon Hara. I will tell you, a lot of problems happen from Lashon Hara. I'll prove it to you. First thing, it says, how long was the Tevat Noach? How long was it? How, how high was it and how wide was it? 30 Amot high. 30 Amot high. Which in Gematria, that's a Lamid. A Lamid. 300. No long. That's Shin. And 50 wide, that's Nun. Lashon. You have the verse that has to be very, very careful from his Lashon. Make sure you protect your Lashon. You can have, let's say, bring down, I. How we how we in Mitzrayim? What happened that we got into Mitzrayim? It says first of all, the whole entire the whole entire um, story of Yosef and his brothers. Yosef said, "What, well, Daddy, Abba, look, he has a, but, uh, you have the brothers. They're eating a uh, Eved Minahai." They're eating this, they're eating that. So what happens? His brother said, ah, oh, like this. His brother said, okay. He spoke about us. They had the Midah, Kareem Midah. And we were exiled to where? To Egypt. Who was the king over Egypt? Paro. What is that? Pera. Per means mouth. Ra means bed. You spoke badly. A person speaks badly. Yosef. Of course, he was doing it Hashem Shamayim. He was doing it Emet. Ah, he said he spoke with Rabbi Nachai. Hashem says he's going to go get a loot to Pera Paro. However, however, if you come back with Tshuva, what do you have? Pesach. What's Pesach? Pe is the mouth. Sach to speak well, to speak good. It's a conversation, but don't speak conversation of bad. Speak of good. That's why if you look, what's the difference between, one rabbi said, the difference in this world is the difference between shin and sin. What's the difference? You have, how do you say to speak? Messiah. Mem sin yud chet. That's Messiah. Messiah. How do you take that sin and put it into shin? What does it spell? Mashiach. Meaning when a person converses well, He'll be able to take the negativity and things like that and turn it into good. That's why he writes over here, Right? It's so bad. Make sure you, speak, you you hold yourself bad from speaking bad. Right? This is the first point that he says, speaks about. Now, second. 